Are you considering downsizing your living space? There are plenty of reasons why this might be on your radar. Perhaps retirement is on the horizon, the kids have flown the nest, or you're simply craving a more streamlined lifestyle. Whatever the reason, let's erase the notion that downsizing is a downgrade. It can be an uplifting change if approached correctly. Stay tuned as we break down the steps to make the transition to a smaller space as smooth as possible. First things first, planning is key. Now this may seem like an obvious statement, but it's easy to underestimate just how crucial planning is when it comes to downsizing. It's not just about deciding what to keep and what to let go, it's about setting yourself up for success in your new, smaller space. Start by assessing the new space. What's the layout like? How much storage is there? This will give you a clear picture of what you have to work with. Next, determine what items are essential. Think about what you use on a daily basis, what brings you joy, and what you can't live without. Now it's time to create a floor plan. This is where you get to be creative. Visualize where each piece of furniture will go, where you'll store your belongings, and how you'll move around in the space. Remember, every square foot counts when you're downsizing. With a solid plan in place, we can move to the next step, decluttering. Decluttering is an essential part of downsizing. It's the process of sifting through your possessions and deciding what truly matters to you. Imagine your items categorized into four groups, keep, donate, sell, and trash. The keep pile should only include items that hold significant value, be it sentimental or practical. Now, how do you decide what to keep and what to let go? Ask yourself a few questions. When was the last time I used this? Does it bring me joy? Do I have room for it in my new space? If you find yourself hesitating, it's a sign that you might not need that item. Donating and selling are great options for items that are still in good condition but no longer serve your needs. And remember, it's okay to let go. Things don't define us, our experiences and memories do. Once we've decluttered, it's time to organize. Now that we've decluttered, it's time to organize and pack. The process of organizing and packing is like putting together a puzzle. It's not just about fitting everything into boxes, but doing so in a way that maximizes space and ensures that items remain safe and undamaged. Let's start with the basics. Group similar items together. This not only makes packing easier, but also unpacking when you arrive at your new home. Next, consider using space-saving packing techniques. Vacuum bags are a lifesaver for bulky items like bedding and winter clothes. They can reduce the volume of these items by up to 80%. Don't forget about the importance of labeling. Clearly marking each box with its contents and the room it belongs to can save you a lot of confusion later. It's a simple step that can make a huge difference. Now let's talk about those heavy items. It's tempting to save money by moving them ourselves, but it's not worth the risk. Heavy furniture can cause serious injuries if not handled properly. So, when it comes to these items, we highly recommend hiring professional movers. They have the experience and equipment to ensure your belongings are moved safely. Remember, organizing and packing doesn't have to be a daunting task. With a little planning and the right techniques, it can be a smooth and efficient process. With everything packed and organized, we're ready to move to our new, smaller space. So, we've made it to our new home. We've journeyed together through the planning phase, where we assessed our needs and made careful decisions for our smaller space. We've bravely faced the decluttering process, letting go of items we no longer need and cherishing those we've kept. And finally, we've tackled organizing and packing, ensuring our precious items are safely transported to our new abode. As we settle into our new, smaller space, let's not rush the unpacking process. Take the time to thoughtfully arrange items, keeping in mind the principles of simplicity and efficiency we've adhered to thus far. Celebrate the freedom that comes with less clutter and more room for what truly matters. Let's take a moment to appreciate our achievement. We've navigated the sometimes challenging process of downsizing and emerged triumphant, ready to embrace a simpler way of living. Remember, downsizing is not about losing space. It's about gaining a simpler, more efficient lifestyle. Happy downsizing.